Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Cliff here, and I thought I'd make a little, um, rant and review about the greatest television show ever made in the history of mankind, um, My Little Pony, um, Friendship is Magic. Um, the main thing I'm gonna really talk about are the toys that have come out for My Little Pony, and explain a little bit about, them. Um, what makes the show so awesome. Now, I have quite a few toys, um, First of all, you have to understand the basis of the show. The show is, um, everything that is good with the world. Um, I think if My Little Pony Friendship is Magic came out about 20 years ago, um, we would have had world peace by now. Probably, if it came out 20 years ago, probably 19 years ago is when world peace would have started. Um, now when it comes to the toys, these tend to cost about 5 to $6 a piece. And they come with minor accessories. To me, they don't matter. But the first one is Pinkie Pie. You can tell by the balloons that she throws, like, awesome parties. Um, and I mean, she's constantly throwing them, like, for any minor occasion. She's also, like, more powerful than any superhero imaginable. Because Batman needs a utility belt. Um, Superman needs super strength and the power to fly. Pinkie Pie just laughs at you and you feel so small, and you just can't do anything. I mean, Pinkie Pie's laugh just kills off fear, not to mention she has an awesome singing voice. Now the next one up is going to be, of course, Fluttershy, who is also a total badass. On her flank, which is a cutie mark, there you go, you have a flower set. No, butterflies. I'm sorry, that was a little bit dense of me. Um, butterflies. Mainly, she loves animals, and she takes care of animals. She's quite shy, so um, whenever she gets angry, she doesn't really resort to violence or anything. She really just gets more perturbed. Um, probably the cutest pony, but she's still a badass, because um, she faced down a half-chicken, half-snake, half of her turned to stone and she still like faced it down and put it in its place it's like yo i'm gonna not gonna deal with the sniz you messing with my friends turn them to stone i'm gonna have to throw down if you keep this up and the chicken half chicken half snake uh cockatrice um felt so small and just turned everyone back to normal basically saving um twilight sparkle which is awesome um the next one is going to be Rarity, who is awesome at fashion, and she's also great, and you can see diamonds right there, she's also great at, um, uh, taking a bad situation and turning it good, there's this one episode where diamond dogs, um, take her so that they can find gems that she can sense with her horn, and she turns them around through whining, which is, you know, something she doesn't do often, but her whining converts them over to, um, actually dig up all the gems for her so that she can design an awesome dress for one of her friends. And then you have the one that I feel makes my collection about 20% cooler. Um, this is going to be Rainbow Dash. And of course, Cutie Mark is going to be a rainbow. Rainbow Dash is just a badass all the way. Um, she can do anything in like 10 seconds flat. And really, there's not a whole lot more to say about her than she's, like, flipping awesome. I mean, she can clear the sky of clouds in 10 seconds, like, flat. She knows a bit about fashion. Now, the thing that you're probably wondering is, okay, I said six ponies, but I have four of them. Um, I don't have two of them for a reason. I think I'm going to break down and buy an Applejack tomorrow. Applejack is kind of like the country pony who knows how to buck apples. She's awesome. But it doesn't come with a hat, which is kind of disappointing. Now, the one that I refuse to get right now, it's going to be Twilight Sparkle. And mainly, that's because they got her hair color wrong. In the toy, it's pink and then purple. It's supposed to be black. It's black and, I believe, a slight variance of pink-purple. But no black? What's up with that? So, um, would I recommend getting these toys? Definitely. Would I recommend watching the show? Absolutely. I would go so far as to say you are not a real man until you have watched My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. It's the greatest show ever made. Um, 
I think it can cure cancer. If we give it enough time, it will cure cancer. I'm putting my name down right now. It definitely will cure cancer by 2013. 2013, the cure for cancer will be pony related and possibly cupcake related too. So take my word on it. It's going to be there. So check out My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. You won't regret it. You're going to love it. And um, till next time, peace out. Remember that friendship is magic. And peace be on to Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie.